All right, we're back today. This is going to be kind of a different uh, video. We're going to be doing a install slash review, and what that product is going to be is the new Diamondback. I bought a Diamondback SE for my 2019 F-250, and we're going to go ahead and install that on the truck uh, today. Like I said, it's a 2019 uh, F-250. It's the short bed. Um, and just to go over a few things, one of the reasons why I chose a Diamondback is due to the fact that come uh, hunting season, I like to keep all of my clothes and equipment, store them in my truck bed due to the fact that uh, I like to play the wind a lot. So scent is really key when I archery hunt. So uh, like I said, a lot of times, at least until the beginning of archery till pretty much the end of muzzleloader season, all of my hunting clothes and equipment's in the bed of my truck. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get the diamond back is with the old tonneau cover that I had, the soft top, uh, I was real hesitant to tell people that I kept my equipment, my clothes in t my truck because of the fear of breaking in. So we'll go ahead and install this and kind of walk through steps of installing it and kind of give a review at the end. All right, so the first step here is going to be actual unboxing. Go ahead. Take that out. And there we go. Uh, I got the black finish on it. You can get these with chrome, but I got mine with the black finish. It's a black truck, so, you know, I thought it would look good. So, you can see we look in, everything's packaged right. We'll go ahead and start here like it says and here's our owner's kit we'll go ahead and open this up so here's an installation guide for 50 bucks if I refer a friend and then here's a register I guess you get a free gift if you register a couple a couple stickers in there as well Alright, so here's just a little close up of what was in the starter kit box, or the start here box. A uh, couple pistons, a couple stickers, the installation guide, and register and refer a friend. Alright, so the first step is take out the center panel, which is the smallest panel, and center it on your tailgate. Uh, there is a sticker on the bottom that says tailgate, and you want that pointed obviously towards the tailgate so go ahead and put that on I wanted to show something just before I clamp this down this is just with the weight of the center cap you can see all those uh, weather stripping there from just from the weight of the cap how it seals that up so that's without it being clamped down okay so the next step is to take our four clamps and put uh, one in each corner of our center panel. All right, so I'm just going to finger tighten the first one on the passenger side of the panel in the front, I guess near the tailgate. And I'm only going to finger tighten because I'm sure we're going to have to move the panel whenever we put the other two pieces on. I'll just finger tighten these now while we're showing real quick. Uh, the longer jaw part goes on the top of your bed liner, and this bottom goes underneath the lip. Okay, I got four, all four of my clamps in. The one's on this side, the one's on the driver's side. So we'll go on to step three. And like I said, these are only finger tight because we're going to have to move this panel back and forth, I'm sure. Okay, so now step three is to, uh, I guess we've got to attach the tail panel. And this comes up with, I guess, we're going to attach it with the fingers on the centerpiece along with the uh, accepting of the, what do we call it, the tail panel here. So we've got to shape, we've got to put in the loop shape hinge knuckles fully into the corresponding center panel hinge pins. So that's going to be step three. All right, that was actually pretty easy for one person. It wasn't super heavy. 
into and then on this side this side's like a knuckle this top piece is hooked and it just slot, uh, clamps right into that piece so on to the next step that's what I was talking about that first step right here that's the pin that slides into that knuckle and then on the uh, would be my passenger side that's a little I guess I don't know, you want to call that the acceptor piece that goes onto the hinge there. So, on to step four. It says lower the tail panel into the closed position, which we did because that by putting it down fully, it's closed. And then, next thing we do is basically go on to the cab panel now. I repeat steps three and four for the cab panel. So, here's the cab panel piece, the last piece I go on. Now, I just want to say, uh, I like the way they packaged it because they put the center panel up on first, uh, up top of the packaging, then they put the tailgate section that I just put on second, and then at the bottom is the last piece of bone, which is the cap section. So that makes sense. Uh, you know, something simple like that, you don't have to pick everything out and run through all the time just to get the piece you want. So that was nice and uh, helpful. So that was probably the hardest part. Doing it yourself. So it looks like I gotta move everything up a little bit. Hold that over. I gotta move everything up, so I gotta do my clamps a little bit. Okay, so there we go. We got all the panels on. There's a fit right there on the front. Very short across the ends. There's the separate middle. There's the tailgate. You can see how it fits nicely with this one here. So the next thing is to put the pistons on. Okay, now we have the pistons installed. We got one on the passenger and one on the driver. So, one on each side. And then it says about this safety tether here. The bar here, I guess it, it's just for safety precaution. This metal tether goes around the one brace. All right, here we go, it's installed. It took about 45 minutes, which the instructions said, but um, if it uh, probably would have taken less. So I'm just going to show you, I guess, some of the, I got to unlock my tailgate. It did rain here a little bit too. You can see just down the so weather stripping, how nice that seals. And we'll open it up, see if there's any water inside. There shouldn't be but we'll check anyway. So here's the seal. See there's no water got past the tailgate seal. Turn the bed lights on. Now one thing I would like to show, when I open it up here, So when you install this portion of the tonneau cover, the front, the cab, and the tailgate portion, it's easy if you have somebody else that can hold this down while you adjust those bolts, that up and down uh, arm. Let's give it a test here. Here's a look down to the seal of the bed. You can see where the water stopped. Now with this back too, there's a little latch right here. If you go ahead, but there's a notch here that locks it in this position. I'm guessing that's for a safety reason, so the wind doesn't get it and pull it up while you're driving. 
So when you want to open this front portion, you have to push this section up and that will unlock it to get around this notch and then allow it to open. So I went ahead and hit that latch. I'm just kind of holding it here, but that portion goes. Then you also have those two bolts here on the uh, front cab portion that also allows that lock and I'll take those keys off. And they give you four keys, which is nice too. So it's pretty easy closing too. Down. So as I said, it was a fairly straightforward install, about 45 minutes. Um, but I see no reason why this couldn't take less. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll get more videos out to you in the future.